Hello and welcome to another reading vlog. Today is Monday, May 6th and I'm sitting at home. <sighs> wow, I just got done having some sushi and sorry, the stunned look on my face is I'm watching Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile, which is the 10 Bundy, Zac Efron film flick, whatever. Um, and I don't know, I get what they're doing with the show that they're showing. So this is like from his girlfriend Liz's point of view, who saw him as like this perfect man until everything slowly started to creep out. But I know that a lot of people in the true crime world find it not super great representation and not very honoring to the victims that it happened to. Um, However, I mean, it is a fictional portrayal, and Zac Efron is doing so good. Like, mm. and I listened to, so there's this podcast called The Murder Squad, which is um, Billy Jensen and Paul Holes, who were both um, kind of integral to um, solving the Golden State Killer murders um, and rapes, and they did a thing on their podcast today where they listed the names of all of the known victims of Ted Bundy. Um, and they're all such young women. I think the oldest one was like 24 and I could be wrong, but, and so I, I get it as well of people being like, they show like real news clips, um, and they like name the people, but yeah, I don't know. I'm about halfway through it, and I stopped to film a clip. Also tonight, I re-dyed my roots, which always feels so good. Um, and also filled in a few places where I'd, like, missed some color. But we'll see. It's the first time I ever did my hair, my color myself. So we'll see if I got everything, right? <laughs> we'll see how that went. But it looks good. Mostly I just wanted the roots done, and then whatever. Um... Also, this vlog will be going up a day late. I'm already telling you that now because <sighs> let me stop the yawn first because I'm going to Utah from Friday to Monday. So um, I will, of course, be filming some while I'm there. Um, I'm going to visit one of my best high school friends who is such a dear love of mine. I mentioned her on this channel a few times. Her name is Shauna, and she lives with her family in Salt Lake City. And now that we're adults and, you know, I can afford a plane ticket, <laughs> which hasn't always been the case in my life, I'm going to go visit them for a long weekend. So I fly out of Fargo at 7 a.m. on Friday, and I'm not coming back until, like, midnight going into Tuesday. Um... And I'm so pumped. I've never been to Utah before. I haven't been to too many states. I'm I'm pretty much a homebody. Like, I like a vacation now and then. But um, I have never met her daughter yet. Her daughter is only four months old. And I'm really looking forward to it. As well as to just spend some girl time with her. Will be so much fun. So, on the reading side, um, when I finish watching this Ted Bundy movie. I need to read my chapters for Skyward. I want to get as far as I can because I'm not planning to bring that book with me because it's so big. Also, though, I really want to keep reading The Smoke Thieves this week. It'd be nice to finish this one. I'm almost halfway done. Um, also, I started to make more progress on Contagion, which I know last week I mentioned I needed to read. And that one, I for sure will finish this week because it's on my Kindle. I have uh, about three or four arcs that I'm going to be bringing with me on my trip because they're on my Kindle. And then I'll probably bring a couple Tessa Dare books with because those are fast and fun. And we're probably going to go to a park and like read together, which is so nerdy. But that's totally a me and Shauna thing is we always used to read together when we were young and I would just love doing it. So that's enough for a front end clip. Um, I look forward to checking in soon. Hey guys, Hi. it is Wednesday, um, so fun, not fun thing happened today. Um, I was getting ready for work and I got a text. Um, my team members at my job, we all have a group text going and one of the guys had got into the office already and he said that our interconnection, internet connection was down, which 
as I've told you before, I work at a tech company and you know, that kind of ruins everything. Um, and then someone else popped on and said that one of our technical guys mentioned that a fiber cable got cut accidentally. So it's probably going to take like all day to get that like relayed and everything. So I get to work from home today. And when I work from home today, this is also good because I was kind of wanting to work from home anyway because I need to finish some laundry and clean my apartment for being gone this weekend. But what I do when I work from home is I'll like get my stuff set up and get ready. And then when Barnes and Noble opens, I'll go and get some coffee and pick up the new releases of the week. So that's what we're doing here. Do I need to spend money? No, we don't question it. We buy books. That's what we do. There is about five books I want to pick up as well. I want to get the Unhoneymooners. I want to get the Bride Test. I want to pick up Romanoff. Maybe. I haven't fully decided. Um, the finished copy of it is so beautiful, but I wasn't a hundred percent in love with the story, but we'll see. And then there was another one too. Oh, uh, King of Fools. I have an arc of that and I'm just, I have a, I read some arcs really easily and other arcs. I just cannot make myself pick them up. So I'm going to do that. But anyway, thought I'd pop in and tell you, this is what happens when I work from home. I don't have to put on makeup and I go to Barnes and Noble and get coffee is the thing I do. So I'm gonna go do that now. They're just opening the doors. I love that there's always like a big group of people here waiting. It's okay. Hi guys. Um, sorry I didn't update you during my travels yesterday, but I'm in Salt Lake City with one of my best friends um, and I just came here for the weekend to hang out and something incredible is about to happen. So I was just, I woke up and just like got on Twitter, you know, just to like check out what's going on. And I realized that Jay Kristoff's next tour stop is today at a bookshop two miles from my friend's house. And it's at 2 PM today. And because my friend is so sweet, because really I was like, we have plans. I'm only here for, you know, three days and I felt really bad. And she's like, no, no worries. Like I need to get some laundry done and do some things. So she's going to drop me off at the bookstore and I'm going to meet Jay Kristoff. <laughs> I like called the bookstore ahead and like ordered a book. So there's a book there for me that he's going to sign and I'm going to get to hear him talk. And I'm just so excited. Like, I don't know how this happened. Or like, what even is this life? But for him to be here the same time that I am, I mean. And I was bummed because Christine Riccio is in Minneapolis the same weekend. And so I wasn't even able to go to her because I was coming here. And now Jay Kristoff is here. And so you are going to come along with me to meet Jay Kristoff. And that's going to happen. Oh my gosh, sorry I'm talking quietly. But I didn't want to like film in front of my friends. It's kind of weird. But oh my gosh, freaking out. So, anyway, we'll talk more later. I got to meet Jay Kristoff. Here's a picture. We weren't allowed to video anything. So as you saw, I just kind of videoed the bookshop, which is so cute. It's called um, King's English. It was so cute. And yeah, he like talked for like 45 minutes. It was a lot of stuff that I already knew about Jay, but I did ask a question. <laughs> I asked like who his favorite side characters were. And he said, Lemon and Jimmy McNulty, which is like, hurts me on a personal level and it was really great so now me and my friend we're gonna go do some more shopping and that and then we might find a quiet place to read because now I have another copy of Aurora Rising so I gotta decide what to do with the other one that I ordered maybe I'll do a giveaway or something like that so who knows but it is turning up to be quite the weekend for me <laughs> so pumped about it wow so crazy
Hey guys, I'm just gonna wrap up real quick. It is Monday morning, I'm still in Salt Lake. Um, uh, not much reading got done at all, but I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching this, um, and I look forward to spending more time with you later. Have a wonderful day, and remember I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Bye!